Hey everyone and welcome to another video. I, uh, I'm here at the new Woodshire farm still and I just finished mowing um, the small hay field across from the shop with the um, disbine and now I've just purchased this uh, neat little Massey Ferguson tractor. Um, just needed something small and low horsepower uh, to do some tedding and eventually some raking after that. Um, so yeah, let's just hop in and I'll head down the field and uh, shouldn't take too long. Uh, I've got a fairly wide uh, tether here, so let's do it. The nice thing that this thing is a little loud, <laughs> given it has no cab, but uh, we'll make do something different. Okay, just making sure that's attached. Yeah, okay. So I went ahead and purchased the uh, turbo version. As you can see, there's a uh, little turbo right there. <laughs> But I think it's only like 79 horsepower, so we'll see how it performs. But uh, this tether setup I have only asks for, I think, like 40 horsepower, so I don't need something very powerful just to do some tedding. Plus the color matches the Massey Ferguson in this uh, tether. So yeah, the oilseed radish, uh, in one of my previous videos I had just uh, added fertilizer to that field just to get it nitrogen content up in the soil. Um, there's my Axion tractor, uh, just parked it there temporarily. Um, since I need to figure out what I want to do next for planting. Um, <laughs> I realized after the fact, like, um, it's incorrect to plant straight up and down the hill, but I kind of was just curious how it would perform. Uh, so, yeah, it's a very strong tractor. I had no issue doing that. I was just curious how it would do, but I'll be back to that field at some point um, to plant it correctly. But I think this might be the next field I actually plant with the Axion. Um, just, you know, try to pick large enough fields that makes it worthwhile because um, there's a lot of small fields on this map and uh, just makes it more difficult to plant with that larger equipment. Oh, okay, I didn't notice the uh, lights were working on the tether too, so. All right, so here's the uh, field. And uh, yes, I missed some patches. Um, not concerned about, uh, not concerned about that too much. Let's see, lower and unfold. This is a fairly wide one too, so should be able to get this field done pretty quick. There we go. Moving right along. <laughs> so according to the yield map, um, which you could see in my previous video, um, it's saying I'm not going to get a lot of yield uh, out of this uh, first mowing, uh, just because nitrogen content is apparently pretty low. 
So um, I don't know. We'll see how much yield there is. Um, but I just wanted to just uh, make some hay um, and see how that went. So I'll be fertilizing this field uh, once I'm done uh, with uh, the baling. So yeah, this, uh, this is a good little <laughs> good little tractor to do this. I haven't, uh, I don't think I've, I don't think yeah, actually this is probably the first open cab tractor that I've used. Um, so yeah, perfect for this type of uh, use. Don't need anything big and um, yeah, this, this, this is like the perfect little tractor to do this. So yeah, I'm going to skirt around my... Uh, my missed cutting there. Don't risk tangling the tether. Just gonna create issues. My mowing was far from perfect, as you can see. I left uh, spots, but uh, it's a weird shaped field, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't thinking hard enough on how to cut it most efficiently. So at some point, it was just kind of a waste of time to try and cut everything down. And I think I'll probably end up reshaping the field, uh, you know, just mow it in a square instead of trying to do the curved part. So, because I'm not really concerned about how much hay I get off of this right now. This is kind of like just like a side project and curiosity mostly to see how many bales I can get off this field. this part. Hit it again. Trying to run through too much of the long grass.
so I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to hit uh, with the tether. Uh, I think I've probably got one more right around this side. Yeah, and like I said, pretty sloppy, um, but I uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bail this up and see is it worth uh, doing more of this in the future from this field. And if I can even, I don't even know if I can sell hay bales or hay bales here. I'd have to check all that, but uh, just wanted to go through the process of actually making hay. All right. Go ahead and fold this up. I'm gonna need to purchase a, or lease or purchase a rake. Um, I've already got the round baler sitting in the shed there. There's the uh, disc spine. Um, so I'm just gonna see. Yeah, park this here for the moment. Good patch. There we go. And I just need to check. <laughs> Give that sound a rest. Let's see. Yeah, wind rowers, rake, same thing. Okay. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> oh my god, the prices of these things. Uh, okay, I'm familiar with that one. I've used that one before. I don't need anything too big or expensive. Yikes. Oh, that works. Yeah, I'll just go with this one. Perfect. Uh, at least for now. Expensive. Okay, so.
I'm going to go ahead and accelerate the time a little bit here. Uh, just because real world, we'd be giving that uh, we'd be giving that tetted grass some time to dry in the sun. So we'll go and accelerate a little bit. Cheat, little bit of cheat code. <laughs> the rink. I need to come back at some point and pick up all my seed there. Okay, just need to, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see option to connect hoses. Right, let's see, how, let's see how that works. Okay. So, just pretend we hooked up the hoses there. <laughs> Not perfect. Sometimes the mods don't always get every, everything, uh, every detail. I did fold that, right? Yeah. And even folded, it does take up a bit of space. Actually, yeah, it makes this tractor look pretty tiny. Oh, yeah. Always traffic. Yeah, this shouldn't take no time at all just doing this one field. Um, there are plenty of other grass fields, um, but they, as you can see, it takes a lot of time. Um, but I just wanted to make a video. Um, yeah, you gotta, you know, cut the grass with the disc bind, and if you want to bale it correctly, you gotta tet it, let it dry, rake it into rows again, and then bale it, then uh, move all the bales. <laughs> it's just like pretty intensive and uh, I'd rather just you know crop you know crop farming go out once plant go out again fertilize I don't really do herbicide treatments or anything like that so I don't care too much about weeds or anything like that but yeah all right yeah I've got the clock running so that's pretty that's okay 1840 now so yeah it's been in the sun for a good bit. So now I'd be coming back to rake. You could argue that it would be left in the sun for a whole day or so, but um, yeah. Actually, maybe I should. Looks like it's changing color actually, so maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should wait. <laughs> maybe I'll give it a day in the sun. can see that. That's interesting. So yeah, it's changing color actually. It's oh, maybe I'll leave it for a day then. Make another video. Yeah, it's definitely changing color. So where right, this is where. Fourteen percent. I think oh wait, I have to check my key code there. But yeah, alright, I'll uh, end this there, and uh, come back, let it run a cycle, and come back and rake it. See you in the next one.